Hello students. In the previous videos, we discussed about the close pack structures in which we have discussed about voids. Voids are the vacant space or we can say interstitial sites. So depending upon the number of voids, we can find out the formula of a compound. So let us discuss formula of a compound and number of voids filled. In the previous video, we have learned that when the particles are close packed, resulting either in the CCP or HCP structures, which is shown in the figure here. If there is an AB, AB type of arrangement, it gives HCP packing. And if it is having A, B, C, A type of arrangement, it gives CCP arrangement because of this type of arrangement two types of voids are generated these voids are tetrahedral voids and octahedral voids as shown in the figure which we have already discussed in the previous video so let us find once again recall what is tetrahedral and octahedral voids. The vacant space among four spheres are called tetrahedral void. Its geometry is tetrahedral geometry. But the vacant space among six spheres is called as octahedral voids. Its geometry is octahedral geometry. Now let us discuss how these voids help in finding out the formula of a compound. It is found or it is observed that number of octahedral voids formed is equal to the number of sphere. Here we have considered the particle to be hard sphere. So in a lattice it is found that the octahedral voids formed is equal to the number of particles that is equal to number of sphere which is represented as capital N and but the number of tetrahedral voids formed is equal to 2 times the number of sphere that is 2N so number of spheres is equal to number of octahedral voids and 2 times the number of sphere is equal to tetrahedral void. So this knowledge, the knowledge of number of octahedral voids and tetrahedral voids help in deciding the formula of a compound. Let us consider an arrangement. In this arrangement, the tetrahedral void and octahedral voids are shown through a shading as tetrahedral voids are found between the four spheres let us count that four sphere one two three four these four spheres the gaps or the vacant space between these four spheres is called as tetrahedral void the tetrahedral void is shown in light violet shading and the octahedral void which is also shown in this arrangement it is shown in light pinkish shading here this octahedral void is formed between the six particles or we can see six spheres let us find out uh, the arrangement of the particles anions and cations in this arrangement Usually the bigger ions in the ionic solids, usually the bigger ions, that is anions, form the close pack structures. In this figure, the green color is shown as anions. So when you observe this one, this close pack structures are actually due to anions. 
and cations are also there usually the cations occupy the space in the occupy the vacant space that is either tetrahedral or octahedral void so if if the cation is larger in size it is larger in size than it occupy the octahedral void you can see that blue color is there in the octahedral void and if the cation is smaller then it occupies the tetrahedral void so it shows that anions which are bigger in size usually form the close pack structure and the smaller ions usually cations occupy the voids but not all the octahedral or tetrahedral voids are occupied in a given compound only the fraction of octahedral or tetrahedral voids that are occupied which depends upon the chemical formula of the compound so let us discuss some problems in which with the help of the tetrahedral and octahedral voids we are finding out the formula for the compound so let us discuss some of the problems let us discuss the first problem a solid is made of two elements p and q atoms q are in ccp arrangement while atom p occupy all the tetrahedral sides what is the formula of the compound so let us find out what is the given term in this q of q is in ccp arrangement as it is given q is in ccp arrangement and p occupy it occupy all the tetrahedral voids as we have learned that uh, the particles which are in the ccp arrangement that is equal to the number of spheres so let n is a number of sphere and uh, tetrahedral voids as we have learned the tetrahedral voids the number of tetrahedral voids is equal to 2 into the number of spheres that is equal to 2n so we'll apply this formula here since all the tetrahedral sides are occupied by p so we can write 2n when we find out the ratio in between these n and cancel so 2 is to 1 so we'll be getting the formula of the compound that is p 2 q1 so this is the answer for this question so let us uh, find what is the answer for this question that is p2 q1 so once we can check the answer here which is given in the reference book this one so what is the answer we got we got the answer p2 q1 and the description is given here let us do an another problem second problem atoms of b form hcp lattice and those of the element a occupy 2/3 of tetrahedral voids what is the formula of a compound formed by these elements a and b in this problem what are the given terms b form c hcp lattice so i'm writing b it forms hcp lattice and a a occupy 2/3 of it occupy 2/3 of tetrahedral void i'm writing T V in short tetrahedral void. So because B is occupying H C P, it forms the H C P lattice. So let n number of spheres are there. So B will be equal to n. And 
A occupied two third of tetrahedral void. That means if n is the number of sphere, the number of tetrahedral void will be 2n as formula we have learned. So this will be two third of two third of the tetrahedral void that is 2n. Two third of it occupy two third of tetrahedral void and number of tetrahedral void is equal to 2n. So what will be two third of tetrahedral void? That is 2 by 3 into 2n. Now n n get cancel. When you solve this one, it will be getting 4 by 3 is to 1. So when we 4 by 3 is to 1 means 4 is to 3. So formula will become A 4 B 3. So this is the answer we will be getting from these that is two third of tetrahedral void is the A and B form the HCP lattice. So let us check the answer for this. So you can find the details of this problem is given here. So we have solved and we got the answer that the formula of the compound is A4B3. So these are the type of questions which is asked in this portion. Like this you will be getting some particular arrangement that you have to keep it as N. Either HCP or CCP you have to keep it as N. And depending upon the problem if it is given tetrahedral void you need to keep 2N in the formula. If it is given octahedral void you have to keep N. If it is given two third of tetrahedral void, you need to keep 2 by 3 into 2n. If it is given all the tetrahedral void, then it is taken as 2n. So this type of problem you have to practice. So in this video, we have discussed about the tetrahedral and octahedral voids, the formula of a compound depending upon the number of voids filled, how we can find out the formula of a compound. So in the next details will be discussed in the next video. Thank you everyone.